I would like to introduce Alan Jeremy from Deflix Enterprises. Hi, this is Alan Jeremy from Deflix Enterprises, and in this tutorial, we are going to begin C programming. Uh, this is the path that you have chosen from the three languages that I am, um, well, kind of advocating for or rather intend to teach, which are C sharp. Uh, Python and C++. Uh, if you chose C++, well, this is the first tutorial in the tutorial series for C++, where I will be teaching you uh, C++ programming for console-based applications as well as graphic user interfaces. But first of all, we're going to start with uh, console-based applications just so you can understand the core functions in C++ and so that you can get most of the concepts because you need these concepts in order to develop good applications using graphic user interfaces or GUI. So in this tutorial, all I want you to do is go to kubeproject.org slash downloads and for C++ development, we're going to be using Qt. Qt 5.1 is the latest version. And for development in this tutorial series, I will, if you're on Windows, I will suggest that you download the Qt 5.1.1. For Windows 32-bit, Ming W 4.8 OpenGL, which is 666, that sounds demonic, megabytes in size. I don't know if that's a coincidence. Anyway, it's not like I'm into religion, really. Uh, but please just don't comment about that. Um, anyway, just download the appropriate one for your operating system. And if you're wondering why these ones are much smaller than this ones, it's because this ones are downloaders for the installation files. So when you download this, it's going to download the downloader so when you open the downloader then it's going to begin to download the installation files then then you won't have to store all the installation files on your computer and you can install directly online i think the name is quite self-explanatory um online installer so anyway just download the appropriate one for your operating system then install it and i don't think i'll be showing you how to install it because i already did that but if you're having any problems please just check out some videos on youtube that will show you how to do that i will uh not suggest this uh the visual studio cute versions because i personally had some nasty errors showing up when i downloaded this but i guess i just wasn't uh prepared or I didn't set up my stuff right. I hope that's grammatically correct. Anyway, uh, once you've downloaded and installed it, uh, you're prepared to move to the next video. So that's all for this tutorial. And uh, I know it wasn't much of a tutorial. Rather, it was an explanatory video just telling you what to do. So just download Qt and install it so once you've done that successfully you're ready to go and see you in the next video thank you for watching this is alan jeremy please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and have a good day